So Jesus asked the question, what's the rumor mill saying about me? And, and, and he says, and, and then he says, well, and then they say, well, some people saying you this, some people saying you that. Then he said this, well, who do you say that I am? So now he asked two questions. What is the world saying about me? And then what are you saying about me? These are two questions. And then uh, Peter says, you are the Christ. And he says, man, good. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father is in heaven. He says, now, and I say to you that you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church. That word, their church right there uh, in Matthew 16, 18 is the word ecclesia. Ecclesia. So this is this is the, the Greek word. This is the word for church. Ecclesia. Ek, E-K, um, is, is, a, is a prefix which means out. So when you look at ecclesia, ek, it's out. Klesia, K-E-L, I mean, K-E, K-L-E-S-I-A, means to be called. So when we look at the church, by definition, the church is the, the community that is called out. So now it says this. Uh, I'll say to you, uh, uh, P- uh, Peter, that you are Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. This ecclesia. Now, an ecclesia means that you have a political gathering for a king. That means the king chooses who he wants to choose. He invites and then calls people to tell them what he wants. So a church is supposed to be a group of called out people who gather to actually ascertain what the king wants to do. Am I making sense? So the reason why we come to church is not so that we can get our feelings fixed. The reason why we come to church is not so we can fix our relationships. The reason why we come to church is not so that we can get our spouses right or our lives right and, and, get, our, and, and, and get our hearts mended, even though our hearts will get mended, even though some things will happen for us. But that is not the focus. That is not the focus. The ecclesia is when you gather, you're gathering trying to find out what he wants. You're not gathering because of what you want. And this is the, this is the real key about the idea of the kingdom and the church. That means that when we talk about the church for real, you're coming into a worship environment saying, what are God's instructions for me? Not more data about God. I want to know what God is. I want to know what his directives are. I'm not looking for data for me. I will get data when I get his directives. But if I get data and I get no directives, then I have not gone to church. I've just got information. What do you mean? It's just like you went to a seminar. It's just like you went, just like you went to a class. Am I making sense? So what's the difference between church? What's the difference between church and school? Church and a seminar? Church and a webinar? Am I making sense? The difference is this. One, I gather data for my own benefit. One, I get directives for his benefit. Because I because he is my king, I want to know how may I serve you? And so I gather to say, how do I need to serve him this week? Am I making sense? And so, so it says this, upon this rock I will build, that word build there, uh, that, that word build there is the word orca de may. Orca de may means a place that he inhabits. So his, his church, the ecclesia, is based upon this place where he dwells. So I'm trying to find a place where God inhabits. I'm trying to find a place where his presence is. Where do you live? Where do you, God, where are you? And, I, and then what do you want me to do? So I come to church to find out what does God want me to do? And I've come to church to also to find out where are you? Because I, I thought you was over here, but you're not. I thought you was in this, but you're not. I thought you were in my life, but you're not. I thought you was over here, but doggone, you're not over there. Where are you, God? So now I come to the ecclesia, a community of people who are called out. Am I making sense? 
Now, it says this. So it says, upon this rock, I will build my church, Orchidome, my ecclesia, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail. Now, that means this, this ecclesia, these called out people, are built for warfare, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. You're not coming to church looking for peace with the world. It is not going to happen. You're not coming to church trying to find peace with the world. You're not, gonna come, you're not coming, to work, coming to church trying to fix all your issues. I was going through it. I just knew I needed to, I know the, I, where I needed to go. I just need to go to church. That's called therapy. <laughs> I'm making sense. I ain't mad at therapy. I wanted to come to a church. I need to, I, I just need a place where I can learn. That's called school. I ain't mad at school. But, but the church is not the place where you learn your ABCs, supposedly, supposedly. And the church is not the place where you get all of your childhood issues dealt with. In fact, the church actually calls, calls you to change, right? So, so now, so it says this. So the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it, which means that when I enter the church, saints of God, I don't enter the love boat. I enter a warship. And there is a significant difference between a cruise and a warship. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> there's no water slides on the warship. <laughs> there's no buffet on the warship. It's a mess hall. <laughs> I don't make sense. You don't have a suite with an ocean view on the warship. Am I making sense? So think about it. How many of us come to church thinking about Carnival Cruise. And God is like, you ready to go to war? And you're like, um, where is the, when, when are we playing bingo? Where's the dance contest? I want to find the dance contest. Where's the trivia? I need to find the trivia spot. Where's the trivia spot? <laughs> I pay for my drink pass. So it says this, the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it, and I will give you keys to the kingdom. So wait a minute. This church is a place of responsibility. Don't come to church if you don't want responsibility. Because he says when he's mentioning the church. Now, this is Christ's mission of the church. Guess whose church it is? It's his. He says, I will build my church. Right. So could, can you imagine that you're coming to his place that he built and you're asking him to do a reorg for you? Excuse me, Jesus. I need you to change this church up because when I came in here, they start asking me to do stuff and I was looking for my suite. When I came to church, they asked me to sober up and I was looking to be intoxicated. When I came to church, I was asking, I was asking for somebody to serve me, and now y'all asking me to serve. That's why I'm leaving this church. Because they asked for too much. But notice, he says, I'm gonna give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So that means that you have the responsibility of opening up access for somebody or closing off access for somebody. You have the keys. So can, can you imagine now all the key bearers are sitting in their cabins waiting for their meals to be served and the world is locked out trying, and trying to get in, but everybody who got keys, listen, have you ever been to your house and, and you've been locked out of your own house? And, and, and listen, how frustrating is that? To know it's your house. And, and you can't get in. And listen, and what makes you even matter is when somebody that, listen, somebody's on the inside and they won't answer the phone. And, and, and you and you like, 
I'm coming home. I'll be home in 20 minutes. I'll be home in an hour. Unlock the door. I'm pulling up. I'm right outside. That's me ringing the doorbell. I'm knocking on the door. I went to your room. I started banging on the glass. Answer the door. Open the door. And, and listen, you can get so mad. You, you, can, get so, you can get so mad. It, 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 look, it's night and you're tired. And, and it's like, this is your spot. And somebody on the inside, all they got to do is answer the call. All they got to do is answer the call. And you sitting outside, God says this, I will give you keys to the kingdom, which means somebody saying, all you got to do is answer the call. Can you, can you get up and open the door? And you say this, I fell asleep. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Why are you mad? I was asleep. <laughs> and so, so you notice how mad, <laughs> listen, you re remember how mad you were? Because you was like, how can you be in the house with the light on, <laughs> the, the television on, <laughs> I, I hear you. And worse, listen, worse is when you, I can look through the window and I can see you sleep. Oh, I can see. I can see you in there <laughs> and I'm hey <laughs> and they and they roll and then, then you see them move and you're like oh. and then they roll over <laughs> they go back to sleep oh so can you imagine in eternity God is saying I gave you the keys church and your job is to let people in and you sleep because you went on, you, you're on, you're on the, you're on the carnival cruise line. You're on, <laughs> and, and you sleep and you, and you, and you being rocked to sleep. So, and it says this, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven, which means I even give you authority. Now, because I give you authority doesn't mean you exercise it, but I gave it to you, which means whatever you say, can't, whatever you whatever you stop here will be stopped and whatever you allow to be will be I'm making sense. So go to my next slide. So when we look at this idea of, of ecclesia, remember this. How do we define a church? It's an individual assembly of believers who are interacting for the purpose of the king. The only reason I like you is for the, for the purpose of the king. The only reason we talking is for the purpose of the king. The only reason we hang together for the purpose of the king. I'm not your cup of tea. You're not my cup of tea. We, we, don't, we don't naturally kick it like that. But because we serve the same king, we, we kick it. Am I making sense? But this is what the ecclesia is. Now here's the problem. The ecclesia somehow gets changed into a social group. We come together for the purpose of the king, but then we start enjoying each other's company and then we become social. And so now we, listen, and we leave our key, keys to the kingdom at, at the house while we're having a good time celebrating, loving on one another, meet each other's needs and everything else, and we leave the whole purpose of the king out. But I know when your birthday is. I come to your barbecue. We go out to eat a couple times a week. We fellowship. Our kids play together. I go to your marriage ceremony. I go to significant events in your life. And we and we make sure that becomes the focus. And then we get mad at the ecclesia when it says the king needs you. 
And you're like, that king is messing up our, our social interaction. You know, we down. You know, we friends. You know, we like to hang. And, I, you know, and, and we're going to mess around like the king mess up our lives. But remember, the only reason why y'all came together because y'all were the called out community. Am I making sense? So how, th this is important. So when you, when you think about the church, remember, we are acting, we are interacting for the purpose of the king. This is the idea of church. Church has been so messed up in America that we start interacting for the purpose of our political causes, um, our sociological causes, our, our gender issues. And then, and they say, you know, we start framing all the arguments around them. We, we are the black men who, 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 who gonna change the world group. Where'd y'all meet? At church? So y'all come to church? No, nah, we changing the world. Oh, y'all gonna come to Bible study? No, on Wednesday nights, we changing the world. We are the white, we are the white men who are, who, who are going to start a, a, a um, start an investment group. So, so what are we doing on Wednesday nights? We're talking about our investment strategy. But, but y'all are supposed to be at church. Yeah, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna change the world by Increasing our finances. We are the nerd group. We're going to come. Listen, we, we, we are, we're all smart people. We're going to be the engineers. And, and no, it doesn't matter what, what group you're in. Single ladies group. Lonely men group. <laughs> they usually meet together some kind of way. <laughs> they have joint meetings. <laughs> they have joint meetings. <laughs> uh, women with children group. Women who boy, women who boys making a mad group, women who hurt group, men, men who sad group, and we listen, and we all have all these groups, but but nobody's doing what the king wants, you know. And, and so now you can come to our church, why? Because we have this group, that group, this group. We have a people who like dogs group. We walk every Saturday. We meet and we walk. We got a, we got a joggers group. We uh, every, every Saturday morning we jog three miles. We got a bikers group. We got a horseback riding group. We got an archery group. We and then, next thing you know, next thing you know, we, we got all this. We got all these groups, and nobody's asking what the king wants. And we grow big churches off of these groups. We're the Christian Bikers Association group. I know every Saturday we go biking in the hill country. And I'm not mad at you, but I'm like, but what does the king want? Do your biking. What is it, are there any disciples being made? Well, no, we don't really think about nothing like that. We just a fellowship group. Thank you for worshiping with us today. If you like this message, you can find the rest at cmllcstore.com. We invite you to join us again for our extraordinary worship services every Sunday at 1030 a.m., Sundays at 4 p.m., and Wednesdays at 730 p.m. Central, where Dr. Moody teaches how to understand the Bible, and you can get all your biblical questions answered. We look forward to connecting with you. We ask that you subscribe to The Rock ATX on YouTube, and follow The Rock ATX on Facebook and Instagram to stay connected to all The Rock is doing. You can also get connected on our website at therockatx.org. Again, thank you for worshiping with us and be blessed.